Hi, welcome to Flex of Friday. I'm Tiffany, and this is my helper, Abby. She's going to help me with a few more of the more challenging poses. Today, we're going to do the hero pose, the easy pose, and the lotus pose. Again, these can be done sitting in your chair. These are perfect for any time in school when you feel like you need to refocus, or maybe your back is just hurting from sitting at the computer or in your chair for a long extended period of time. So first of all, I want to remind you that it's very important that we're breathing while we're doing these poses. It's important to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, so let's start with the hero pose. This is just simply having your feet flat on the ground and your palms resting on your knees and you're sitting up straight. And you go ahead and sit like this and close your eyes if you're comfortable with that. And let's take three deep breaths here. Okay, now slowly open your eyes. The next pose we're gonna do is the easy pose. It's very similar to the hero, except you're gonna cross your legs. A lot of you know this position is crisscross applesauce. Again, you just rest your hands on your knees and you sit up straight and you close your eyes if you're comfortable. And we'll take three deep breaths here. Okay, so now slowly open your eyes. The next pose we're going to do is the lotus pose, and I have Abby here to help me with that one because I'm still practicing. I haven't quite mastered it yet. For the lotus pose, you just put your knees in crisscross, and instead of your feet going underneath, they're going to go on top of your knees like Abby has here. Okay, we're going to take three deep breaths here. You can either remain in crisscross or try the lotus if you feel like being a little more challenged. Three deep breaths. Here we go. Okay, now slowly open your eyes. Remember, you can use these poses anytime you feel like you need to stretch or refocus or maybe get a little bit more energy or calm down. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope that you join us next week. Namaste.